In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take an old black and white image and colorize it using Adobe Photoshop. Now this is a fairly new tool in Photoshop, so you will need to make sure you've got one of the later versions of Photoshop to be able to perform this task. I am using the 2022 version of Photoshop to do this today. Now the image we're going to be using today is this one of Einstein. I will post a link in the video description below. And what we're going to be doing to Einstein is simply modernizing the image to make it look a little bit more like this with some color. Okay, it's really easy to do with the new neural filters in Photoshop. So let's get started on doing that now. So I'm going to delete that colored layer. So we're back here with the black and white image. And all you need to do is grab your move tool from your toolbox and click on this layer. Go up to the filter menu at the top and select Neural Filters. Now this tool will just take a moment to load because there are a few bits and bobs that need, do need to pop up. Here they are here. So you can see there's a list of different filters that you can use. The one we're looking for today is the Colorize filter. So make sure you download that from the cloud. And once you've downloaded it, just turn this little um, toggle button to on. It'll take a few seconds and Photoshop will do its best to colorize the image. Now, as you can see, it's not quite perfect. He's got quite dirty looking hair and his jumper is a little bit faded in areas where it looks a little bit um, wrong, I guess you could say. So what we can do to fix that is probably start with the jumper. All you need to do is go up here to the black and white image and click on the area of the jumper you're not quite happy with. So this section down here, I'm going to click on in the black and white image. And it will come up saying, what color do you want that to be? So I'm just going to go up to the blue here, and I'm going to try and pick a similar kind of blue to what he's currently wearing. It doesn't have to be perfect, but something similar will help with the coloring process here. And when I click on OK, that bluey kind of color will now start to fill in that faded area. And that looks pretty good. There's a slight little um, discoloration around this side of his um, body as well. So if you wanted to, you could probably click over there. And that will just make it a little bit bluer as well. So I think we've got his jumper looking pretty good. The other issue I've got is his hair. It's a very um, yellow look, looking hair, a bit like he's a surfer. We know that it looked a lot whiter than that. So what I'm going to do is click on his hair. I might start up the top middle here. And you'll see it will go blue because it's taking that blue we chose for his jumper and placing it into his hair. But what we can do is just click this color box here and change that color. Now I'm going to come down to the yellowy color here and choose a very, very light yellow that is almost like a gray. So I've chosen a light gray that's almost a slight tinge of yellow running through it. When I click on OK, you'll see that his hair goes that kind of old fella looking color. And we just need to now click around the rest of his hair to make sure that those yellow bits do fade out. So let's try. He's got to be careful that it does sort of creep into his face here. So you've got to be careful not to change the color of his face too much. It will go a little bit lighter than we originally had, but that's okay. As long as this hair looks realistic. There we go. So I think that looks pretty good. When you're happy, you can go to the adjustments if you would like and make further color adjustments. Um, I don't think that's necessary. A little bit of noise reduction though would never hurt, so feel free to just pull that slider up to 10, 20%. And that's basically it. So when you're done, click on OK and that will output your image as a new layer. If you would prefer, you can choose one of the other options there. Um, but I'm just going to go with a new layer for now and click on OK. As you see, we've now got our colored version of Einstein. You can toggle the um, visibility of that layer to see what it looked like originally. And you can see what it looks like now. So it's a pretty impressive tool that Photoshop has come up with here to easily colorize old images. Just to show you a couple of other examples quickly that I played around with earlier. I didn't do much editing to these ones, uh, but you can see it's quite a cool effect. And here's one more here. See the original and the new colorized version. All right, so that's all I'm going to show you in this video. It's a very cool tool up in the filters menu. Play around with those neural filters. There's a few others there that I'm yet to play with, but they do look really cool as well. So I can't wait to test those out and show you what they're all about. 